To kick things off here at Cavalcade 2014, we have two young superstars, two young talents in the cruiserweight division going head to head to obtain points in the point system spreadsheet. I understand that these two superstars are struggling. There's a hurricane coming through. Oh my goodness. Hurricane and Lucha Estrella, the Mexican madman. These two gentlemen are not doing so well in points. Apparently, Lucha Estrella is reeking at 88 points, while this guy right here has 84 points. Hurricane is, is deemed the worst superstar in fantasy pro wrestling. This guy is a talent. This guy was amazing in World Championship Wrestling. Now as the Hurricane, his career has just diminished. And here we go. One fall to a finish. Like I mentioned, these two gentlemen are struggling for points. They are at the bottom of the barrel with the Hurricane scoring 84 points. That is very sad. We did not expect any of that to happen, but we gotta do what we gotta deal. And um, right now, look at Lucha Estrella setting up the people's elbow. Nicely done, connects it on the stoinum of the Hurricane. Two masked. Two masked superstars. I wanted to say banditos, but that's not the case. A couple of weeks back in a cruiserweight contest, we had uh, we had the Hurricane, Pumpkin Escobar, and then and I think uh, I think Lucha Estrella. No, Shane McKay. And in the end, McKay ended up winning the entire thing. Uh, Hurricane. Wanted to gain some points in a match. He lost miserably, and that's why he has lost so many points. Same with Lucha Estrella. He had a match, I believe, with uh, Steve Fortune. And he also lost to that too, and he hasn't been doing very great. But it's funny because why haven't we been seeing Lucha Estrella teaming up with either Chavo Guerrero Jr.? or Rey Mysterio Jr. I mean, that's Team Mexico right then and there. Lucha Estrella, what is special? Could this be the Falcon Arrow? There he is, Falcon Arrow with the rope break. Oh, poor Lucha. He thought he was going to go for the win and go for the, go for the pin and the win. And the match with, uh, with the Hurricane was Chavo Jr. We saw those two guys fighting once again. Chavo Guerrero, former cruiserweight champion, defeated the Hurricane. Hurricane has not been doing very, very well. And both, and I should say both Lucha Estrella and Hurricane have not been doing very, very well. This is their chance now to redeem themselves. And I know that backstage right now, guys like Steve Fortune, the president of Fortune Enterprises, Shane Eaton McKay, the FPW Cruiserweight Champion Danny Cans are watching. 
You never know, these guys might might be on, to, on top of the food chain. Lucha Estrada, when he first came into the FPW, his first pay-per-view match, I believe, was Cavalcade. Two. Cavalcade of 2009. Or, no, sorry, it was Carnage 2009, but he earned a contract in, at, at Cavalcade a month after he won the Cruiserweight Championship. Standing switch, sweet escape by the Hurricane. Hurricane now has a special, will he use it? Oh my goodness, there's the Hurricane! I mean, the Vertebreaker, not the Hurricane. The Hurricane is doing the Vertebreaker. Two! Lucha Estrella now has 85 points. Oh my goodness. Poor Lucha Estrella. He was better off with his tag team comrades. Hurricane wins this fall. Congratulations to Hurricane Gregory Helms. Congratulations once again to the Hurricane defeating Lucha Estrella, earning himself 87 points, ladies and gentlemen. Can you imagine that? A man who had just scored 84 points before has now earned three extra points from that pinfall, securing himself with 87 points and getting ahead of Lucha Estrella. Ladies and gentlemen, I am the host with the most, the voice of fantasy pro wrestling, Jenny Ganoush. And welcome to FPW Cavalcade 2014. And ladies and gentlemen, we have an unbelievable lineup for you. The fans, the viewers watching this on your laptops, desktops, iPads, iPhones, smartphones, whatever you guys have, you are witnessing history in the making. We've got ourselves now six unbelievable matches. We've got ourselves a bunch of championship titles. Joe Namath is here tonight defending the No Mercy Championship against Alberto Sanchez. We even have the FW Women Tag Team Championship title match happening right now. It's going to be Soul Calibur 4, the longest reigning FW Women Tag Team Champions going up against Evil Bad, Lady Death, and Daphne. Those two teams have had so much history. This goes all the way back to 2010 when those belts were first created. And how about this, ladies and gentlemen? The Young Lions Battle Royale, G.I. John, Titanium, Junior, and Winger are the four lucky superstars aging between 20 and 30. These, these four men will be duking out for a shot at the Universal Championship title belt which Vicious Jeremy possesses. And one of these four men will have that match happening at THQ Night. That will be happening in the month of June, ladies and gentlemen. So once again, G.I. John, Titanium, Junior, and Winger going at it where we have to have one man standing in the middle of the ring as the victor. And ladies and gentlemen, that's that's not even that's not even half the show, ladies and gentlemen. We even have the rematch of Cactus Jen and Jivan Jen McCarthy for the women's championship title, and they'll be contested or contested in a last woman standing match. This is gonna be awesome, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm done blathering. Let's go to the ringside right now for the rest of the action here at FPW Cavalcade 2014. Oh yeah, and and Curse, you're defending the World Heavyweight Championship against Player Uno, the 8-Bit Luchador. Good luck to both of you guys. That match will be happening later on.